have the Barthang mid drive motor fitted to the um, bike. In this case, it's an old power bike, e bike. You might recognize the um, frame shape, but um, yeah. So there's my battery, which is a 10 ampere, 36 volt. Uh, this is the standard Barfang motor. I've been looking into these for a little bit and finding out a bit of information. And um, basically, <clears throat> these do come slightly restricted. So this is the 250 watt model. Um, you can get a, a program in USB cable for about 20 quid off the bay and the um, software that goes with it and you can start changing the settings on this. Um, from what I've read uh, you can um, change the uh, what was it, the amps on the controller. I think the default is 15 but they go up to 18. Some people have said that the controllers in these are the same as the ones in the 350 watts it's just um, the settings are different in the controller programming. So I don't think I'll play around the amperage, but going out on yesterday's first drive or test ride, um, I just noticed a few things that weren't great. Um, mainly the pedal assist is good, but that could be um, up to a little bit. And also the um, power, I'm going to release a little bit more power with the programming. So when I get my cable, I'll show that, do another video. So um, yeah, it just needs a slight improvement really. Um, quite a lot of hills around here. So we're going to um, change some the settings so to improve that. I think this is the BBS01. Um, if it is, it's like um, the MOSFETs, I think it is. I don't know if you pronounce it that way, but um, they're a bit more resilient than the um, BBS02. Um, so you, you just want to be a little bit careful. Um, but yeah, so fitting it was um, fairly simple, actually. Um, I had a crank puller um, so I could get the um, arms off relatively easy um, the chain set let's start with the motor actually so the motor um, you just take all the removable metal parts um, from your frame off um, that was difficult on one side easy on the other um, best thing to remember is um, if it undoes that way on the other side it's obviously the opposite direction so don't get confused and start trying to tighten things up rather than undoing them um, but once this is in place and I've done up the um, securing, um, no, not bolts, they're like um, rings, um, it was all secure. And then I just put the um, chain set on. Hindsight, probably would have put the chain set on before I um, put the motor um, in, in place. Um, I think that's possible. Because... You kind of when you put this guard on you have to kind of work from the other side to put a screw in the tiny little screws to secure it um i might be changing this chain set as well it's a 46 i think i might want to put a 42 on it because it is hilly around here um i think that'll help things out um so yeah i did it over a couple of evenings took my time on it really um but it's a, probably about the same complexity as putting in a hub motorized hub wheel which this bike did have um so yeah uh what other things so the pedals they all fairly they went on the crank arms went on okay the pedals they're all fine um this top tip here is um when you power on the bike you should see the red light illuminate there um if you get an error i can't remember what the error code was but basically i had this this is a magnet so it hits this um sensor here to work out the bike um, speed based on the wheel size so I, ha I actually just had this the wrong way around um, and that caused it um, to create an error um, and not record any speed um, and I think the pedal assist I think that still worked or the throttle works and pedal assist didn't anyway so turn that round and that was fine um, so that was good uh, what else have I found um, the wires because the controllers inside like um connected to the motor inside the motor casing it's brilliant you don't have like a box of wires of spaghetti going everywhere so all you've got is these two power cables to the battery and then you've got a host of other cables the usual setup I just bunched them there but um for for kind of this the on off up and down um the pedal assist section um settings and then the brake with the uh, cutoff for the motor, 
obviously the um, display and the twist throttle. Notice I haven't got any grips on, my old grips, so I just couldn't get them off, so I cut them off, so I've ordered some new ones. <laughs> um, but yeah, so all in all, it's good. It just needs the restriction slightly um, to get it up to a better, slightly better spec. Um, what I'll do is leave this video here, but I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to go through the menu options, uh, because there's the standard menu options, and then there's advanced um, beyond advanced, you're looking at the uh, USB programming cable to uh, perform um, changes in the controller settings. So, yeah, thanks for watching.